we're still here. We survived the earthquake and the eclipse, and we're still pumping out the videos. We're in New Jersey, and we just had an earthquake. OMG, and it did that to your hair? <laughs> A rare 4.8 magnitude earthquake shook the city and much of the northeast around. I'm sitting outside. Rick is sitting across from me. And I feel my chair vibrating. Just for like, I don't know, a couple seconds. It's just like shaking, like quivering. Oh, yeah. What's up, New York? Didn't expect to feel me yesterday, did you? <laughs> We haven't camped since we've been back from our cross-country trip in October. Right. And, um... I'm jonesing. Yeah, no. So, I did just take some pictures. Our camper's a mess. We we definitely have to clean the camper, it, that's for sure. It's not a mess. We've it, just been storing stuff in it that's got to come back out. Well, that's true, but that's the mess, the storage stuff. So, we've got to do that. Anything. We did our anniversary video. And that was talking about your construction and my journey on YouTube. Right. But well, we haven't had any travel videos, per se, or anything like that. Well, we will soon. Over the winter, Rick had to do some repairs on our sticks and bricks because the birds decide they want to try to get into the house. I was a little worried with Rick up on the roof, so I would help hold the ladder sometimes, and I even put these trash cans out in case... He felt they would break his fall. It wasn't that nice of me. Are you okay? So this is Max. He's stoned here. Uh, they literally had to sedate him just to get blood work. And they did confirm he has a tick-borne disease. It's not Lyme. It's called something else. But he's on a 30-day antibiotic now. He's not himself. Poor baby. So we really haven't done too many new videos because we haven't really been camping or doing anything. Oh, we'll put up our bowling pictures. <laughs> <laughs> I have you bowling. Oh. I have you actually doing it. I think I just have still shots of me. But yeah, well, I was surprised because I was always very athletic and I didn't care if I got hurt or whatever. So I would throw myself around, but I was also very uncoordinated, so I would fall a lot. So bowling is not an exception. Bowling, it's not uncommon that I would slip and go down on my knee, and it would be really bruised the next day because I just bruise easy. I was so mindful this time not to fall. I wasn't throwing any caution to the wind because I was afraid a hip could snap, a bone could crack. And I, I was very, very careful. We bowled through two games. We were almost finished, and then these other people came in next to us with some little kids. And I didn't realize that we could have pushed a button and put up the bumpers. <laughs> <laughs> and we... hey, he's been ordering a lot of stuff from Timu. So... It's coming. It's coming. We actually did film some open box stuff. Who knows? Maybe I'll put it up because we don't have a lot of material when we're not camping. We got. I got my monthly care package from Timu. So I got a trail cam. Two pistol holsters. And a rather disappointing slingshot. Looked much larger in the picture. You know, we're, we're not always out there. It's hard to do this content. So we're maybe try to sneak some other things in. No, I did get sleep, but look at my eyes. Today, they're really bad, too. So I don't know if anyone has ever experienced this, but um, someone told me it's salt. And I know I eat too much salt. I have been cutting down. But someone told me it's water that I'm retaining. So if I drink water, it'll flush the salt out. So... I got me a jug. I don't like drinking water though. It's really a challenge to drink it, but I'm trying. Um, oh, and I know we just ordered a brand new coffee pot. I mean, you know, I know you, if you know what I'm talking about, put this in the comment below. When we were camping, those 51 days out in the road, we had the best coffee. 
because it was in one of those percolator pots that we used. And I realized how much I love the taste, not of drip coffee, but of percolated coffee. So we ordered an electric one. They have, you know, the stovetop one or the electric. You can't usually find them in stores. We even went to thrift stores looking for them. You can't find them. But fortunately, we did order one. I think it'll be here tomorrow. So maybe we'll even sneak that in in this video. And today, boys and girls, we're going to use our elite gourmet percolator for the very first time. We're going to make percolated coffee. Robust. None of the sissy dripping stuff. <laughs> we'll make He-Man coffee and put hair on your chest. Not you. <laughs> Anything else? And this thing can rotate on the base and be separated. So when you pick it up to pour the coffee, you don't have to be dragging the cord around. That's so cool. And oh yeah. And if you tuck the cord in a little bit more, you can use this for a frisbee. It'll just have a little tail on. This is from the eclipse we saw last year when we were out in New Mexico. And yeah, I think it was Albuquerque. But it wasn't a total eclipse, it was called an annular eclipse. And I actually got these pictures by putting the, those funny glasses they give you over the, ca uh, the camera lens. And I just used my cell phone and they actually worked. So we're ex real excited for this one because we were hoping to get great pictures. So where are we at, Rick? How much of the eclipse are we supposed to see? <laughs> we were supposed to see about 80%. We're seeing absolutely zero. This is horrible. Nothing but clouds. Yikes. All right. The last video that we put up was a podcast. So check out this video. It's Bob and Carrie from Life Redesigned. And we had called out a big YouTuber who had promoted Nomad Internet, which is nothing more than Verizon service in a special box, right? And they were selling that as a one-stop. This is all you're going to need if you're full-time remote. Anybody who knows that knows that you don't get by with just one. And I got really upset with this. So I did this video. Within two hours, Carrie and I were walking around this big RV park. And we were met by two other YouTubers who at that time were leaps and bounds higher than what we are. Yeah. And they came up and they did that. You're that guy. You're the guy that called out the Internet people. And we're like, sure. Want to shake your hand? And I'm like, well, that's kind of weird because you're in that same group because I've seen you in the same group with this person. And that's when they go, well, we don't really like that person. And mm. then they clue us in how this works. 